Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of Carolina Athletics. Coca-Cola, there's magic when we cheer together. And by Hardison and Cochran, dial 919 all fours for a free legal consultation. Hello again, welcome to the latest edition of the Carolina Insider. My name is Jones Angel, and I'll be guiding you through the next 30 minutes on our show. We have a bunch of good stuff to talk about, starting with the big Tar Heel football victory. Carolina last season did not win a single game away from Chapel Hill, winless on the road and in a neutral site game as well. This year, Tar Heels five games on the road. They have won all five, all five decided by a touchdown or less. That included Saturday afternoon in Charlottesville against Virginia. Tar Heels hold on 31-28. We will see highlights of that game and hear some post-game reaction. Basketball season, both men and women getting started this upcoming week. Adam Lucas and I had a chance to catch up with Anya Poole from the women's basketball team. We'll talk to Anya about the upcoming season. And then a lot of fall sports are heading into their championships, finishing up with conference titles, moving on to the NCAA. We have some highlights from some big Tar Heel tournament wins as well. All of that coming up. Let's start with the first half in Charlottesville. Carolina and Virginia in football. Starting linebackers, Mike Backer, Nick Jackson, James Jackson, the weak side backer for Virginia. As May, clean pocket to throw, complete. Morales over the 50, breaks one tackle, and then is pushed out of bounds by James Jackson. King, Antonio Clary are the two safeties for Virginia. Tar Heels moving quickly. May pulls it on the read option, throws it left side to Downs. Downs tiptoeing down the near sideline, and he has another first down. Downs comes in motion from left to right. May again pulls it, fakes to the right. Now he's going to run. May at the 25-20, angles to the left side, 15-10, and slides down for a first and goal. May gets down to the seven-yard line on a scramble of 26 yards. Noah Burnett on. This will be off the left hash. Snap is good, spot is down, kick is up, and it is good. So the Tar Heels do score, but they have to settle for three. 7-3 Virginia. Tar Heels rush just four. Get pressure late as the ball's being batted around and intercepted. Storm Duck able to bring in the tipped ball. Carolina gets the turnover. For Duck, it is his second interception of the year. Carolina starting on its own 20, going from left to right. May will throw. Now it's a design quarterback run, and he slides down shy of the 30. He's already up and clapping his hands, and he's going to hand off. Elijah Green, big hole up the middle. Boy, lost his footing, but he has the first down at the 41. Lee mentioned that slick turf, and as Green tried to cut back, see if Carolina can recover. Drake May's going to run. Out of the pocket, coming to the near sideline, and gets out of bounds for the first down. He did get over the 21, which was the line to gain. Second and goal from the five. May in the shotgun with Green to his right. Gets the snap, rolls to the right, looking to the end zone, directing traffic, pivots back. Now he's scrambling to the left side. May may try to get to the end zone, and daggone it, he's going to do it. Touchdown, Carolina. Started to the right, hit the blinker, turned to the left, and hits Pater. A messy first half for the Tar Heels as no turnovers or anything like that. They just couldn't quite get much momentum offensively. Virginia with a couple of quality drives, and it adds up to a 14-10 Cavalier advantage at halftime. I'm not gonna believe this, girl. Mom! Dad! Dad, have you seen this? I did it. Wells Fargo helps thousands of students go to college. He got in. By funding $107 million in scholarships and programming for diverse communities. Don't worry, I'll be back. When a bank does what it says, I knew you could do it! Opportunity happens. Doing gets it done. Wells Fargo, the bank of doing. Try 
play it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison & Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 all fours. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind every adventure is the road that got you there. Behind every passion are the tools that make it happen. And behind every Ford truck and SUV is a Carolina Ford dealer going the extra mile, finding the vehicle you're looking for. It's our commitment to your journey. That's what it means to be true blue. New inventory is arriving daily. For great offers on a new Ford truck or SUV, go to buyfordnow.com or see your Carolina Ford dealer today. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for being here. And when we last left you before that commercial break, Carolina was trailing 14 10 going into halftime against Virginia. Third consecutive week that Carolina's trailed at the break. But as has been the game script here recently, the Tar Heels came out of the halftime locker room playing very, very well. Let's see the second half highlights and some post game reaction after Carolina's win. Big third down early just for momentum purposes. May gets out of the pocket, across his body, completes J.J. Jones at the 40, steps through a tackle, and Jones gets the first down out to the 44. How about Drake May moving to his left, back across his body to an open Jones in the middle of the field. Copenhaver goes in motion from right to left, sets up as a wing on the left side of the line. Tariel's going to throw again. May, pump fake, looking deep, lets it go. There's Josh Downs. Catch at the 35, tripped up inside the 25 of the Cavaliers. Got in front of Cohen King. So it's second and one for the Heels at the 15-yard line. May under pressure, steps out of it, gets through a tackle at the 10. May's going to get out of bounds inside the five. May in the shotgun, Virginia bringing pressure. May hands off to Green, and he's in. Elijah Green right up the gut for six. The Cavaliers bought pressure off the edge. May handed to Green right in that soft belly in the middle, and he gives the Tar Heels the lead. May will start in the shotgun. Fake it to a Downs, who was cutting through the formation. Now May's going to run and spun down at the 50. Both on the right side, so that's five wide for May. It's a screen. Finds Downs on the far side. Weaving through traffic. First down for Downs. He's at the 35. Tripped up at the 31. Boy, right when the ball was snapped, you thought, uh-oh, because everybody was coming through, but May quickly on the tunnel screen to Downs. Heels go five wide. Three to the left, two to the right. May to throw, looking to his left, lets it go. Downs, end zone, give him six, baby! Downs had a step, cradles it in, and the Tar Heels take the lead back. May looking over to the sideline, gets the snap with seven seconds on the play clock. Over the middle, guess who? Downs, right at the yard to gain the 30. Game clock down to 30 seconds here in the third quarter. He'll swing it out to DJ Jones on the far side, has some blockers in front, gets the corner turn, still moving, knocked out of bounds on the far sideline, has plenty enough for the first down. Tarles up 24-21. Need half a yard to keep the drive going. They'll give it to Green. He has it. Left side got to the 21-yard line. Ooh, that could have been bigger. He just happened to get tripped up right when he broke through the line. They have it now at the Cavalier 22-yard line. 
May fakes the pass to the left, looks down the field. He's going to use his outlet. Elijah Green on the right step to tackle. Green 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Elijah Green! Out of the backfield for six more. That couldn't have been higher on the totem pole than option three or four. <laughs> will be the first attempt at onside for Virginia this year. Fields have the hands team in. Downs the only man back semi-deep. Onside is away and fielded by Carolina. Antoine Green is going to go down. There's a flag down as well. Offside. Kicking team, number eight. The yeah. five-yard penalty is added to the end of the play. First down, North Carolina. Carolina improves to eight and one overall. 5-0 and in conference play. First time we've won five consecutive games on the road since 1997. I said most of them weren't alive, and they laughed, said none of us were, Coach. So, uh, really great effort by Virginia. Tony had them ready. They're getting better each week. Uh, but proud of our guys. We didn't play a good first half. We played better the second half. Defense stepped up a few times. Disappointed the offense didn't put the game away. We're up there twice, and we seem to be wanting to keep ratings for TV. and. And, and we did, but very, very proud of these young people. Eight and one, you know, that sounds pretty good. Um, you know, that's, that's been the story on the road this whole year. You know, it's been tough, gritty wins, you know, one score games. We knew we got to play for four quarters. And uh, credit Virginia, they came out and played. They hit us in the mouth in the first half, and we came out and responded. Behind every adventure is the road that got you there. Behind every passion are the tools that make it happen. And behind every Ford truck and SUV is a Carolina Ford dealer going the extra mile, finding the vehicle you're looking for. It's our commitment to your journey. That's what it means to be true blue. New inventory is arriving daily. For great offers on a new Ford truck or SUV, go to buyfordnow.com or see your Carolina Ford dealer today. We come from different places to experience a piece of history and leave our own mark on the storied fairways of number two. Fargo helps thousands of students go to college. He got in. By funding $107 million in scholarships and programming for diverse communities. Don't worry, I'll be back. When a bank does what it says, I knew you could do it. Opportunity happens. Doing gets it done. Wells Fargo, the bank of doing. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. So the Tar Heels on the football side of things improved to 8-1 and one overall, 5-0 and oh in conference play. Carolina in the driver's seat, not quite there, but in the driver's seat to advance to the ACC championship game. So football's doing great. Basketball's about to get started. The men begin Monday night, 9 o'clock in the Smith Center against UNCW. The women begin their season on Wednesday at home against Jackson State. Adam Lucas and I had a chance to catch up with Anya Poole this week from Carolina women's basketball. Anya, tell us a little bit about what's been going on over the last couple of weeks as you guys have been, been preparing for the year. Yeah, you know, it's been pretty, pretty good so far. I mean, we've just been putting in a lot of work. 
um, putting in a lot of plays, just, you know, just getting ready to play these games and to play how we know how to play. Trying to win some games, trying to get to this tournament. <laughs> A lot of personnel on this year's team is going to look familiar mm -hmm. to Carolina fans who got to know y'all last year during a very successful season. Where have you seen this team get better? Where do you expect more than, than last year? Um, I think this team has gotten a lot better with the connection part. Um, we were very, very connected last year, I can say that. And you know, some teams, they have their ups and downs, but it's the way that you fight through that and figure out how to fix that. And I think that because we are such a veteran team this year, we got a lot of, oh, this team is very young, this team is very young last year, and we don't have that this year. We have a lot of people who were here last year, went to the tournament, you know, so I just think that that helps us a lot because when we get in the situation where we face adversity, we know how to handle that. And um, I can say it's a lot of talent. Everybody wants to get better. So, I mean, something to look forward to. <laughs> what, what allows a team to find that connection and that togetherness? Because I don't think it happens for mm -hmm. every single group. Um, I think it's just the will to want it. Um, a lot of us are like, well, if we don't, you know, get along off the court, if we don't get along on the court and practice, it won't work during the games because that's when the adversity really hits you mm -hmm. because you're playing against somebody else who doesn't really care who you are. They just want to beat you. So, you know, we're all just like, well, we're in this together. We fight with one from one through 12 and from one through 12, we have each other's back. And that's how we kind of push along through this, this journey. <laughs> What about you personally? Where do you feel like you've made improvement over last year? Where are we going to see a different Anya pool this year? Oh, man. Coach Banghart harps on this a lot. Um, I can say just my physicality. Um, I'm running the floor a lot better. She's been, you know, getting in me about that one. <laughs> um, I, I had a couple spurts last year, but I think this year I've kind of harped on, you know, trying to get up and down the court a little bit faster. And just my outside game, I mean, I'm shooting more. I'm more comfortable shooting the 17-foot jumper. I mean, it's about it. <laughs> What a, how difficult is it to get used to the physicality, especially of the college mm -hmm. game? I'm going to guess that was, that was something new and different. Yeah, um, well, when I was in high school, it was pretty, pretty, pretty aggressive. Um, I did, I went to Southeast, so my coach was very like, ah, so we were all <laughs> like, so we were all like, oh, okay, well, we have to get on the same page as you. So she always taught me to just, you know, <laughs> meet the challenge with the challenge. So I told, I even spoke to my mom. I was like, hey, if you're going to come at me with, me with um, physicality, I'm going to bring even more physicality to the plate. So, I mean, coming to college, it was just a, a mindset that I already had. And even though it was harder than high school, it was just like something that I already knew how to work through because mm -hmm. I'm never going to let somebody beat me in anything. So mm -hmm. I'm just like, okay, you want to fight with me? I'll fight with you back. <laughs> Where did that competitiveness come from is that always been it's there? always been there especially on the court like my mom always says like oh you'll think Anya's the meanest person when she's on the court but when she's off of it you think she's a totally different person <laughs> I'm just like when I'm on the court I'm very locked in like I would like I said I'll never let somebody just beat me just and say that they can beat me like you can never say that without saying that I put up a fight like so well I thought Anya was about to fight me right no. now like, she was getting locked no. in right here <laughs> no that is why we did not want to do this interview on court <laughs> yeah, because we knew we yeah. couldn't handle that. Um, Anya, the Tar Heels might have snuck up on some people last year, especially mm -hmm. maybe at the end of the year, but that is not going to happen this year, preseason number 12 in the country. Right. What's the difference in mindset required when every team is going to want to beat a team mm -hmm. that, that's close or in the top 10? I think just knowing that every team wants to beat a team like that. Um, Coach Banghart says all the time, you now have, you will always have a target on your back. So play like you have a target on the back. Never go into a game underestimating a team. And I think we have one through 12, especially like the, the veterans, especially in the junior class, we're always like, okay, well, we're gonna go in this game and we're gonna play the game. We don't care what's on your chest. We don't care who you have. We're gonna play and we're gonna use our pieces, just like you have to play and use your pieces. So that helps a lot. So now, Anya, you were, was it soccer player first? Mm -hmm. I have that right? I was. So wh when, when did you make the transition to basketball? Um, I started really playing basketball in seventh grade. That's when I first tried out for the Carolina Flames. Um, I played soccer my eighth grade year. That was the last year I played it. But then after that, I was always told, oh, you're too tall to play soccer. And I'm like, OK. <laughs> so I was like, I'll try out for basketball. And then from then on, I got a trainer. He's been my trainer since then. And we've just been on up. How did soccer? or maybe did soccer help you with basketball? I would think, it at did. least footwork-wise, yeah, it, it, it could help you a lot. Yeah, it did a lot. Um, I, I can say it helped me, like, foot-wise. Um, I'm very quick. I mean, people might not say to be like, oh, you're very, posts are very slow. No. 
Like I might, I might look like it, but I promise you, I can. I, like my feet are very quick, and I, even my coaches are saying it. Strength conditioning coaches are saying it, and I think that helped a lot because that that makes people underestimate me because I'm I am pretty tall, but that first step, mm. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Anya, great. Thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate the time, and we really look forward to watching you on the court. Thank this you year. so much. <laughs> I'm not going to believe this, girl. Mom! Dad! Dad, have you seen this? I did it. Wells Fargo helps thousands of students go to college. He got in. By funding $107 million in scholarships and programming for diverse communities. Don't worry. I'll be back. When a bank does what it says. I knew you could do it! Opportunity happens. Doing gets it done. Wells Fargo. The bank of doing. to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. Does your team mean the world to you? Then we're just alike. My team here at Hardison & Cochran means the world to me. And just like you, I have nothing but confidence in my team when it's on the line. If you've been injured at work, and facing a blitz from the insurance company, I welcome you to call on me and my team. We have three workers' compensation experts ready to put in the game to protect you and your family. Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law, here for you. 919 All Fours. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever, and your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind every adventure is the road that got you there. Behind every passion are the tools that make it happen. And behind every Ford truck and SUV is a Carolina Ford dealer going the extra mile, finding the vehicle you're looking for. It's our commitment to your journey. That's what it means to be True Blue. New inventory is arriving daily. For great offers on a new Ford truck or SUV, go to buyfordnow.com or see your Carolina Ford dealer today. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Welcome back to the show. Let's wrap things up with some Olympic sports coverage and a lot of these Olympic sports into their ACC tournaments. That includes men's soccer who defeated Boston College. Women's soccer it took PKs, but they knocked out Duke in the semifinals. Field hockey wins the ACC championship. They are 17 and 0 heading to the NCAA tournament. And in volleyball, there's no ACC tournament in volleyball. It's just the regular season winner. So getting near the end of that and the Tar Heels won their 15th match of the season with a straight set victory over Notre Dame. Let's see a lot of highlights of a lot of successful Tar Heel teams. Get that out of bound to set up the corner. Line drive yeah. on the corner, headed down and Carolina finally gets on the board here late second half and who else? Ernest Pawa. The flip, the goal, and it's 1-0 UNC. Eagles with time running out here. Diego Ochoa from distance. Oh, and a terrific save. That's the best of the game for North Carolina. And Marco Saborio Perez, the senior. Well, Cooper had been marking Hanson. She's not out there at the moment for Duke. Hanson got her head to it. Saved off the line. Actually, I think that was Gambone who headed the ball for North Carolina. Yeah, did bypass Hansen in the box and it found his way to Gambone. It's round eight of the shootout. Save! Allen gives her team a chance to win it. Moxley in the moment sends North Carolina to the final. 
And Matson flip flop there. Set it up for Matson on the big line. The rebound is out. Slinker trying to slide it through. And they do. Nice job by Carolina in position for the rebound and the put away. It's one to nothing. Tar Heels. Matson, a little slip to Bruning. Tipped in for the goal. Nice job. Patience by the Tar Heels. And they're up 2 0. Here come the Tar Heels into the circle. And the run of the goal. And Riley Heck with the put away as she held on to that ball for the very, very, very last second. And the insurance for the Tar Heels now with 3.03 to go. North Carolina, an unprecedented sixth consecutive ACC championship. 3-2 over Virginia. Tar Heels three away from closing out the second. Nico kept alive by Shaftmaster. Bostic behind the back to Howard. Thompson. Ross gets it over. Shaftmaster keeps it alive. Bostic gets it to Merkler, who gets it down all the way to Thompson. Shaftmaster. And Monson gets it over. May receives. Shaftmaster will get it down, and UNC will pick it up in a three sweep, three cent sweep. That'll do it for us this week. Thanks for being here. A lot of great Tar Heel topics to discuss. That includes next week, Carolina heading on the road. Another big one. This is at Wake Forest 730 next Saturday night. We'll have that. We'll have basketball and a lot more next time we see you on the Carolina Insider. Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer, proud partner of Carolina Athletics. The 2022 Ford F-150, a tradition of excellence. Visit your Carolina Ford dealer today. Carolina Insider is produced by Go Heels Productions for Tar Heel Sports Properties, a property of Learfield.